Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today we have a full guide, guide number 3 from our series, full guide for auto grenade launcher. That's a very cool weapon, the only, basically the only explosive weapon that can be used on daily basis and can do well. Then let's jump into it. You cannot unfortunately on the map find anywhere auto grenade launcher to grab. Sometimes high level enemies can drop auto grenade launcher. Like for example, super mutant behemoth can occasionally drop it. Scorch beast can occasionally drop it, but there is no guarantee way of getting one. Therefore, the alternative option is just visiting Watoga and buying a plan to craft the weapon yourself. Now into the crafting of the weapon, when you buy your plan, you go to weapons workbench and you find it under launchers. And there it is, auto grenade launcher, it's available in level 40 and level 50 variant. And of course, we'll be using level 51. As you can see, the requirements to craft is gunsmith rank 5 and quite a lot of resources. Luckily, you will not need to craft too many of those. Yes, you need to craft and scrap in order to unlock the modifications for this weapon, but you don't need too many. Now about the modifications. If we go into the modifications tab, you cannot change your sight, you cannot change your grip, and only thing that you can actually change is a barrel. And here you have three options, standard barrel, long barrel that increases the range, and heavy barrel that increases both range and damage. In the past this one was broken and not doing anything, but luckily it was fixed and now it's the best barrel to use with your auto grenade launcher. The only downside is the heavy barrel have slightly less durability than long barrel, but we want this extra damage. Of course, as this is a launcher to see the correct damage on your weapon, you will need a demolition expert. And now more about stats with this weapon. It does offer a decent damage, decent area of effect with each explosion. It's using 40 mm grenades, have quite solid fire rate of 16 shots per 10 seconds, and it is an automatic, as the name suggests, grenade launcher with good range, quite solid accuracy. The accuracy in VATS is as well good. It's a heavy weapon, it's light in here, but that's because I'm using perk to reduce the weight by 10 volts. About the ammo, you can load 12 grenades with this weapon. Crafting ammo itself is expensive. You find it under explosive ammo category. And as you can see, crafting five will cost you adhesive, aluminum, fertilizer, oil, springs, and steel. That's a lot of resources to get five rounds of 40 millimeter grenades. You can of course increase it with your perks, but it's not recommended. If you really want to use grenade launcher, what I recommend to do is basically use ammo exchange machine. Farm your points with other ammo or with a broadsider in daily ops and then use the converter to buy 40 mm grenades. As you can see, those are much cheaper in here as well under explosive ammo 40 mm grenades. And you can buy 500 rounds for 30,000 points. That's a lot of points, but still much cheaper than attempting to craft it. If you need to craft something, craft two millimeter rounds and sell them in this machine. Like if you go under energy ammo, there is two millimeter electromagnetic cartridges. You just craft a lot and sell 1,500 for 7,000 points. Then you can see that you will need to craft around 7,000 cartridges to buy 540 millimeter grenades, but it is still cheaper. And now about combat effectiveness of this weapon. It's quite good. As you can see, it's too short to kill a high level super mutant. And yes, it's, it's not amazing by itself when you use a non-legendary weapon, but there is something special about launcher type of the weapons. And here my suggestion about the legendary. The legendary that works great is two shot. It's basically doubles the damage, unlike any other weapon. 
In here, it's literally doubling the damage output of your weapon. Then now, with a two shot, other stars doesn't really matter much unless you will get a vast hit chance. If you have two shot, everything is a one shot. Like, sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> when you have two shot weapon, everything is a one shot. So you can see it's doing crazy damage. Double the damage if you have two shot and that applies to every launcher type weapons. Therefore, if you can get yourself a launcher, you will do double the damage. Unfortunately, if you shoot too close, double damage to yourself apply as well. Okay, I'm back to reclaim my loot and kill this super mutant. Yeah, the damage is there and give me back my dinner fork. I need it. I need to eat my dinner with it. And there you go, guys. This is a grenade launcher, auto grenade launcher. It's really fun to use weapon, especially if you will be able to put your hands on two shot variants. And if you will use it in VATS, there is this fun effect when you shoot like flying scorch beast, grenades will follow. Those will be a homing grenades. What's really cool to try at least once and, and kill a scorch beast with a grenade that will lock on the target and follow her slowly. They're not very fast, but they follow and they hit. And that I think everything you need to know about the grenade launcher. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.